Hello, my captain, and welcome now to Wednesday. Thanks for logging in. Overcast and hyper aware of their reality today for the goats, the moon, which is the focus of our emotions, is now focusing yours on the daily moment-to-moment -moment mundane reality. So your emotions are right there on your shirt sleeve today. And this begins with our body, our holy temple that we uh, attend this big reality in. So emotions and body are intertwining right now. This is an excellent time for exercise, by the way. And if you're finding yourself wigging out in your environment, go run for a while. Get that heart racing and do a little meditation while you're running. You want to combine your mind, body, and soul during this transit. Now, if that's not possible, this is the transit where I see people mislight cast a dis-ease in their soul because emotions triggered body and body reacted, or maybe you're already sore and it made you emotional. The other area to kind of keep in mind too is your entire sphere of influence. Your sphere of influence is everywhere you walk every day. So it's when you walk to the store and that you always have lunch here and that you go to this job and this is your job cubicle. It's your entire sphere of service to humankind. So in that sphere of service, you are emotionally charged as well. And sometimes that hyper awareness makes you really annoyed when Bob in the cubicle next door keeps clicking his pen, right? Zip it around in the sun. Another reason why things are a little little bit fiery today. Uranus is ruling the day. We're in chapter two down of Sun and Scorpio and the topic for you this month is your social status. How you see yourself in society. Who are your friends? What are the social icons in your life that represent you in society? And with Uranus it means there'll be a minor breakdown followed by a breakthrough. So you may have a bit of a breakdown for instance with uh, Bob in the cubicle next door and suddenly you know that's not just that you're hyper aware it's also your reputation in the office. Oh, Capricorn and the reputations. I'm goddess. You guys are kind of crazy about that. Either way, it's chapter two. It's not so intense and it will lead to a breakthrough. A breakthrough really realizing you finally go to human resources and you say to that person, I really, you know, I'm sorry I grew up on Bob, but I really don't want to sit next to him if that's possible. Oh sure, we'll move you. Breakthrough, right? So you kind of resolve it. Either way, expect a little bit of a growth there. Then speaking of growth, we've got Skip Jennings, our urban mystic, going live with another episode today. He's our spiritual cheerleader at Soul Garden, the god of thunder, if you will. Don't miss Skip. He's everywhere. The Soul Garden Intertelevision Network streams. All right, that's all I have for the day, Capricorn. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. Soul.